Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd. Looks like there's more Lord of the Rings news than just Rings of Power. Here I am getting ready to do my She-Hulk review. Stay tuned for that. And I discover that the company, Saul's Ants, has been purchased by a larger company today. What's happened? Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit film merchandise, theme park gaming rights, Sold to video game company Embracer, Embracer Group. We're on Variety, because that's where the source story originates. Middle Earth Enterprises, the holding company that owns all of J.R.R. Tolkien's works, including Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, and more, has been sold to Swedish gaming conglomerate Embracer. The rights include movies, books, theatrical productions, video games, theme parks, and merchandise in Tolkien's most famous literary works, The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, as well as mar matching rights in other literary works related to Middle-earth and authorized by the Tolkien Estate and HarperCollins, primarily The Silmarillion and The Unfinished Tales of Numenor and Middle-earth, two compilations which are pub were, pu were published after the writer's death in 1973. In February this year, Variety exclusive revealed that the previous owner, Saul Zanz Co., was looking to sell. Well, there it is. Say we have no real numbers, but it's estimated this was a $2 billion purchase. And we were expecting, we thought that a bigger, another big company like Amazon would be the one to pick it up. But no, it is Embracer Group. Now, what does this mean? What does this mean? Let's take a look at Embracer, shall we? Let's have a look at Embracer. Embracer Group. They're about to publish their first quarter earnings. They're I'm proud to say that they have had an increase in sales, whatever. Embracer Group is the parent company of businesses developing and publishing PC, console, and mobile games for the global games market, an ecosystem for entrepreneurial companies in the gaming and entertainment industry. Here's their latest news, upcoming events. Annual sustainability report. Welcome to the year in brief. Sustainability. Smarter business, our approach to sustainability. We are hell happy to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Here are all the companies they own. They are the parent company of THQ Nordic. Oh, that's a familiar video game company. Plyon, I guess sort of familiar. Coffee Stain, I've heard of that. Amplifier, don't know. Saber, don't know. Dark Horse Media, that's familiar. As Modi, Easy Brain, Gearbox, that's familiar. DECA, I think I heard of that one. There you go. And let's go to the about. Embracer Group, 10 operative groups, 120 internal studios, 850 IPs owned, current employees, just over, just under 13,000. They're based in Sweden. With our headquarter in Karlstad in the Swedish province of Varmland, I hope I pronounced that right, Embrace Group engages more than 14,000 people in over 40 countries with a track record of combining organic and acquired growth. Over the coming decades, we are building something unprecedented and sustainable together based on our shared philosophy of trust, a long-term mindset, and embracing different perspectives. Now, you're right, you're, right now, maybe some of us are asking, what's... What is this going to mean? What, what is this big deal about? Now, this is about the extent I've had time to really dig into Embracer Group because this is breaking news and something we're covering, Lord of the Rings. So I want to get something out there. We can come back to this at a later point. But first glance, what does this mean? I worry. I worry. I see the words sustainability. That, that, that's, that's code for... <laughs> left-wing climate change agenda. <clears throat> this is another giant corporation. Maybe not as powerful as Amazon, but another giant corporation, all the best. <sighs> when giant corporations buy the things we love, that doesn't always, well, so far it doesn't mean good things. Especially when this corporation is perfectly fine with, oh, look at that. These are the guys who own Saints Row, the company that makes Saints Row, Gearbox. See, I told you, <laughs> we were uh, we we were okay with that. I'm sorry, Volition's recently used Boss Factory tool for the upcoming reboot of Saints Row has revealed that the developer has made a number of changes to its character creation options, including the removal of 
binary gender choices and a reduction to its max allowable breast size. And maybe I said ga- Gearbox was wrong, but um, thought I saw it there for a second. Either way, I never played Saints Row, but I heard people had had, had a very vibrant fan base for it. They loved it. But now it's complying to the far left gender crap. It's the nicest way to put it. Their gender agenda. What kind of rhymes? Either way, Embrace a group. They're the ones who own this, which means they sign off on this type of shit, which means they now own Lord of the Rings. Red flag warning bell. I don't think this is good for Lord of the Rings. Oh, we might get some video games out of it, you toxic hater. I played a couple Lord of the Rings games, Shadow of War, Shadow of Middle Earth. They're fun. They're not remotely lore accurate, but they were fun. That's about it. I don't, that, 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 you're not going to tell me that, oh, a gaming company bought it. You should, it'll be, it'll be good. No, we see what they do with their gaming companies. They buy into the left-wing gender agenda. Or lack of gender agenda, as it, as it were. Worry about this. This is just another large, massive company purchasing something to make money on it, not caring that some underlings with agenda, which this company readily signs off on, clearly, will corrupt it. Now, are they going to be stupid enough to try and put out another set of movies? Wouldn't push past it. Make a deal with somebody, at, with, with a movie company. Are they going to do more games? Probably. So either way, I don't see this as a good thing. I don't. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. Is Am I right to be alarmed? Are you right to be alarmed? This is the world we live in. Bigger companies are going to buy the stuff we love and try to change it. Or we expect them to try and change it. In the end, though, they can buy it. And as we're seeing, though, with Lord of the Rings, you can buy everything you want. But there's one thing you cannot buy or change, the original source material. And if you have a stalwart, indomitable fan base like the Lord of the Rings fan base who cling to their source material with passion and respect in a very protective nature, you deviate from what they know and love. Oh, you're going to get a harsh response. Amazon is learning about that harsh response right now. Embracer Group, you you are now warned. Either put out quality, unchanged content concerning Lord of the Rings, or don't bother at all because you see what the backlash is. Lord of the Rings fans will not tolerate this. We're going to show you in a few short weeks with Rings of Power. All right, I'm done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like would be very much appreciated. And if you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube, where I'm here to earn your trust and support using facts and logic, because facts and logic do not care about whiny SJW and Stan feces. Hit the notification button, share my video. If you like what I'm preaching, and by all means, as I said, leave comments. Love to hear from you guys. Don't care what the stands or the SJWs have to say, because 201, they are cowards behind keyboards. And I can't wait for every single video I make to trigger them. Thank you again for watching this video. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to get in touch with me, you can reach out to me at therennerd at gmail.com. That emails for channel business only, so I check it on a daily basis. Also, you can find me at the Geeks and Gamers forums under at Roas, and you can find me at Rumble and Odyssey, the Renaissance Nerd. Thank you again. See you next time.